Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths. And welcome back to another fight involving the Titanus line. My goodness, she's a little reprobate. She keeps getting into fights. And so, uh, on the last time uh, we had her uh, beat something up, or get beaten up rather, uh, which was fighting the Normandy by AAS Felix, uh, I got not one, but two, or possibly more, haven't checked, uh, entire comments saying, you know what you should do? You should chuck the Titan Slung against two Star Slung Mark IIs, just to see what happens. And I thought, yeah, that's a very good idea. And, um, it's quite close material cost, actually. The, uh, two Stalies is, uh, actually slightly, has got a material and block count advantage, uh, over the Titan Slung, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna go. Um... I do think the Titan Slung is uh, generally a more cleverly built craft, because I made the Starly Mark II ages ago, and she is a little bit long in the tooth. But, um, we'll have to see. And we'll see right now, in fact. Let's have a go. Best of three, round one. I keep forgetting to change the bloody things on the Titan Slung. Let's see here... Okay, Titan Slung, cops at first. Looks like uh, Star Slung's on the lead. That's a lot of smoke. And this is going to be an extremely laggy match. And I'm very curious to see what these giant as crammed do. Uh, because the Star Slung's armor scheme is a little bit outdated for a number of reasons. Oh my god, they missed. I hate that. Alright, that one didn't miss. Titan Slung did uh, cop it. Uh, Titan Slung's getting kind of beaten up. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, oof. Oof, 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 oof. Let's see what's that. I hope that's mostly ERA, otherwise, I'm gonna cry. Looks like. What does that look like? Yep, it's mostly ERA getting popped, although... Oh yeah, she's lost a few secondaries as well. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You better start making miracles happen, my girl. Otherwise, uh... Otherwise you're gonna get uh, beaten up... By tiny snakes. Oh, I completely forgot to do the thing. I need to make some adjustments to the Titan Slung. It's interesting that no... Noise is happening right now. Is my are my headphones broken again? Oh no, it was my headphones. It was me headphones. You probably think I look crazy now, don't you? Well, okay, that evens things up considerably. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, once the Titan Slung gets her eye in, uh, she's no joke. Oh yeah, and I keep forgetting that, like, wow, those missiles aren't even rendering much. Oh yeah, that pro- uh-oh. 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 Are those, uh, rear guns aiming? They are aiming. Barely. Why are you aiming over there? You gotta be aiming slightly better than that. Is the main ABS still firing? Nope, it's gotten his barrel snubbed. Nope, it's still firing. Groovy! I might need to up armor the crams on these things. Yeah, it looks like uh, T. Stolly is not great at fending off crams herself, even though she's armed with them. I think I mentioned before, I have a bad habit of that. Yeah, also I clearly need to do something about um, the target prioritization here, because she really should be uh, preferring this thing that's close here. And it's rather embarrassing that she isn't. Oh, there you go. 
I wonder what that's gonna do. Quite a lot by works of it. What's this? Oh my goodness. Getting right in there. Probably uh, not enough though. I do actually remember, I think I tested the type, the Stalslung Mark II against the Normandy and she won. Which is hilarious. Because uh, the uh, Titan Slung almost didn't win. Uh oh, something. What the hell happened now? Oh, AI dead. My goodness. Well, that serves me right for not paying attention. What the hell happened there? That must have been a heck of a shot. Just a big dirty cram shell getting through... Getting through deep in there and doing stuff. Where is the AI on the, uh, on the Stully again? Oh, it was over here. And yep, that looks exactly like a dirty great cram shell getting in nice and clean yeah outdated armor schemes can uh, literally hurt you a lot my goodness so yeah it was looking pretty good for uh, uh team stully for a second but it looks like team uh titan oh please don't crash <laughs> please don't crash oh no maybe i should actually let you fully disintegrate uh before we get on with the action otherwise this was this is gonna take a hot second you know yeah. Honestly, like, it's one of those things is like, uh, I'm not sure who to root for here, because, well, both of these things are my designs. On the one hand, if Team Stolly wins, it's like, yay! She might be getting a bit old, but she can still do stuff. Uh, but on the other hand, if the Titan Slung wins, it's like, yay! I've improved, and that's good. Whoops, and now we're freezing again. So please cut my computer some slack. Uh, she is being very busy. She's being very busy trying to keep her all this. Uh, trying to keep all this happening. Oh dear. Oh, it makes me cry. It make me cry. Let's see here. What damage is actually the Titan Slung suffering? A little bit here and there. Yeah, this uh, this this cram's actually mostly in. Well, I see. Yeah, mostly intact. Although, yep. Oh oh. Oh oh. It's almost like cram shells are kind of hard to stop. So we'll have to see if uh, the Stolly manages to uh, stop this one. Let's follow her in. Let's follow her. I do like uh, aesthetically the stall slung. Damn it! And that is why being low slung is a good idea. And that was a complete decapitation. My goodness. My goodness me. Wow, I'm actually impressed that the Titan Slung's turrets have survived as well as they have. Oh, that's gonna be a vicious shot. Oh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be a complete miss. Never mind. Not you. I'm gonna... Let's see what this does. Let's see if the missile interceptor. I think the missile interceptors are actually doing a more than I think they might be in terms of uh, just uh, dropping the damage output of the impact missiles on the Stalley. Because here's the thing: she is a missile cruiser in disguise. Um, it's mostly these uh, large missiles in the front that do most of her damage. So if you can counter them, uh, you're pretty much good to go in terms of defeating her. My goodness, you are missing something amazing. Yeah, you were like, wow, you are really putting the miss into something. Although I might have spoken too soon. Nope, I didn't speak too soon. Let's see here. I want to see here. Are these... 
Yeah, these things are loaded, but they're not firing. I wonder what's happened. Let's see what's happening down here. Also, I should mention that in previous fights involving uh, the Titan Slung, she wasn't actually using the right shell on her main APS, so she could... Uh, she's probably going to do a lot better <laughs> in coming fights simply because uh, she's uh, using the right shell this time. Whoops. Also, I'm very interested to see if these shells do any damage at all. No, not you. Freaking lock on. Oh my goodness, what did that do? Not much by the looks of it, actually. What's falling away there? Uh, never mind, that did... Oh... Ouch, that actually did plenty. That, uh... Oh dear, that's knocked out the main APS. Ooh, this is actually kind of close. I don't like it. This is a repeat of what's happening with the Normandy, actually. It's just like... It's gonna be a very close fight. And I don't like it. Don't like it. T. Stully needs to win damage. She needs to win things. It's very inaccurate and I don't like it. Okay, I really need to... It's very frustrating when your bloody ship doesn't actually... You could, she could end this right now. Just a shot in the right place, she'll take out a turret or just something like that. But no, she's missing. She's missing a lot. She's really doing a miss. Oh my god. Was the Star Slung ever this good at just dodging cram shells? I don't remember her being this good at dodging cram shells, although she is basically under the water now. Did that do anything? The answer might surprise you. No. See, I'm very much rooting for the Titan Slung now. I want her to win this. Oh my god, stop missing. This is why building low slung stuff is a good idea. Did that do anything? That did plenty, actually. Ouch. You're finally getting your eye in, T Stally. My goodness. My goodness, gravy. Oh dear. Well, two Star Slungs uh, are managing what the Megalodon couldn't. They've dropped, uh, they dropped the Titan Slung below 90% uh, health. Oh my God, you missed again. Why? Why? How could this happen to me? Okay, you really need to stop that. You really need to stop doing that. This is why long and skinny is sometimes actually kind of a good idea. Oh boy, this is a slugfest. It's two crams versus what look to be... Three. Two versus three. Oh my god, come on now. Might experiment with different cram configurations on the T Stully because uh, having them all be the same thing just means that they all are really good and they also really suck against the same targets and not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. Hmm. Hmm. See, that drives me crazy. That drives me nuts. Although that just took off an enormous chunk of hitch po of hitch points, hitch points, hit points. Oh boy. Okay, next cram shell that comes from uh, from the Star Slung, we're gonna follow it over, unless she's uh, there. We go. Now watch this one be the one that kills it, and I miss it. Oh, someone's sitting very low in the water. Right, 
All right, let's play cram tennis for a second. Actually, uh, the stall slung might sink. She has been known to sink sometimes. Oh, hello. Not you. Not you, the cram shells. Well, now there's not much point in the, to following them, is there? Whee! Please don't miss. I will cry if you, you freaking missed. Stop missing. I guess the, the star song is being really hard to hit right now because she's almost a submarine. Which has good points at... What the hell? Uh-oh. That's not good. That is, in fact, bad. If the uh, Titan Slung shells have been weakened to the point that uh, the lambs can take them out, that means this could last a very long time. Oh my god, stop missing. Note to self, next battleship I build, take best features of both Titan Slung and Star- Oh my god. I should start... I need to adjust some things in the Titan Slung. I really do. Just tiny things, behavioral things, because, like, uh, there's no excuse for her missing like this all the time. There really isn't. Really is not. So, oh my word, why? This is just me, like, being very cringing so much at my battle shot, not doing what it's supposed to. What did that do? Not quite enough. Oh dear. Oh dearie dearie me. Oh my kitty Aunt Fanny. This is tense. This is camping because it's intense. Oh wow, the entire superstructure fell off. Mmm, boy. Wow, this last star slung is putting up a hell of a fight. You know what it is? I think the main AI on the Titan slung is set to target blocks above the water, which is the opposite of what you want to do here. Because uh, the stuff on top of the water, like, there's barely anything above the waterline right now. Barely anything at all. Please hit that turret. Oh my word. I can't keep doing this. I can't. I can't keep watching this. This, this is bad. Can't keep watching this badness. Right, so you need to... Oh... That's so, it's so agonizing when such a big important shell misses by inches like that. This is why most people, well not most people, a lot of people don't like using cram cannons. Because when they hit it's fantastic, but when they miss it's like... My body, my body, my sensibilities, it hurts. I gotta fix that. Oh my god. If the Star Slungs win this, I'm gonna- Oh my god, why? You bouncing off the water like that? I swear, and like, no, setting the inertial fuses lower will not help that. Don't bounce, don't bounce, don't- all right, miss instead. All right, you can miss. That's fine too. And by fine, I mean not good at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, lordy. You have got to do better, T. Stally. This is disappointing. Fighting off two battleships, which are... Uh... Oh, my goodness. Can you please do better? That was good, but we want better than that. We want much better than that, thank you. I think I might have underestimated my old designs here. It's a kind of bias you get sometimes in which you look at your own designs and you think they never do quite what I want them to do. And then you test a new design against them and you're like, Oh my word, why is this thing so hard to hit with cram cannons? It's ridiculous. It's because the thing... Oh my god, it's because the thing isn't very tall, it's very flat, and it sits low in the water, that's why. Which means that cram cannons are probably the only thing she's good at dodging. 
Okay, let's follow... Okay, let's see this cram over here. Let's see how she does. She's not gonna do much. Yeah, really? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is taking forever! One of you, please kill the other! Titan Slung is missing a lot. Even though her shells are still stronger. Yeah, but the Star Slung is dodging shells like crazy. And she's managing to hit more consistently, which is, uh. No, uh, why? This is really agonizing. This is the agony of defeat makes walking hard. Maybe I should redo, but the Stalslung Mark III is going to be like very much like the Mark II, but different in key ways. Oh my god, like, are all the detection things shot? Oh, I can't. Oh, I just can't, guys. Ugh, ugh, that's so bad. It's such a horrible feeling when it just bounces like that. Makes me cry. Hmm, phantom superstructure. Maybe I need a steeper broadside angle on the Titan Slung because she's not. She needs to get a lot closer for this to work. Oh my God! Stop being a submarine. Or I mean, keep being a submarine. I don't know who I'm rooting for. Oh, wow, there goes an ammo compartment. That might have been THE ammo compartment. Although, I don't think about it. No, there's a second one back here. Finally, you get a good shot off. You need to do that more. You need to do that a lot more. Yeah, less, less of that, please. I want you to get married. Be a missus, not a miss. I think I made that joke before. It's just as dumb as when I first said it. Oh, my goodness. Drawn out brawl. I've got to get better at crams. I'll get so much better at Please don't miss. Oh my god. That angle that the Star Slung is sitting at is just perfect to bounce shells just straight over her. And normally I'd be okay with it, but not now. When your old designs can beat your newer one, I gotta remember that uh, the Star Slungs have a material advantage and a block count advantage. One on one, no contest. Oh my god, the bouncy, bouncy! By well, looks of it, like uh, Team Star Slung's gonna run out of materials um, and she's gonna just sink. Yeah, ooh boy. Ooh lordy. Well, yep. There we go. That's uh, one. Well, no, actually, no. That one, that cram can can still fire. Oh, it's so close, so close, so close, so close indeed. Let's go look at the Titan Slung for a while. Let's as soon as there's another cram shell. Oh, the bounces. The bounces, the bounces, the bouncy bounce. Wow. T Stolly is, uh. She's a bit of a mess. She's definitely seen better days. Oh 
Jeez. I think, to be fair to her, she is trying to close. It's just not going very well. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, I think the Star Slung is actually going to run out of materials. Um, and that's how this fight's going to end. That's what happens when you have to share with another ship. Although now Starly is missing as well. She is really low in the water. Um, that's a lot of block confetti. Did I miss something? Did I miss something? That looks like... Oh, of course fun things happen when I'm not looking. There, she got hit in the AI compartment. By the looks of it. We're out of super cavitation stuff. But that's okay because she's below 80%. If she sinks, she dead. Stop missing. Uh -huh. <laughs> no wonder the cool kids use railguns. Uh -huh. They'd never have to deal with this stuff. Uh -huh. Just a poor cram gunner trying to... Oh my god. Teach me to underestimate my own designs. Deacon's health. She is just refusing to die. Absolutely refusing to die. Which is what I get for not having torpedoes or anything else. Like, on the tea stally. Jeez. Can you imagine if I put huge missiles on her? This fight would be over so much more quickly. Oh my word. It's taken ages. Taking forever. You know what? I think it's inevitable, so I think I'm just going to speed up. And if something incredibly interesting happens, I will be sure to tell you. Yep, and that's it. The Star Song is too damaged. After close to 20 minutes, actually, according to the real clock, it's been like 35 minutes. Not counting the minute or two I waffled at the very beginning of the video. So, oh my word, that took a while. So, um, I guess the Star Song is tougher than I thought. It's certainly two of them is, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lot to handle, I guess. 
Well, I guess she shouldn't be retired just yet because she managed to, uh... She managed to drop the Titan Slung uh, below 90% health. Although, actually, uh, her being above 80% health is kind of accomplishment considering the amount of Ducker that was being chucked her away. Wow, she's definitely seen better days. Look at all this. She's had compartments ruptured and all that stuff. Her engine survived, though, so that's nice. What the hell's this? Oh, that's, uh, that is, uh... That's the uh, torpedo defense. Torpedo defense. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh yeah, the game does that. It goes stutter stutter. Wow. There's a lot of uh, blocks here which are damaged but not destroyed. So that belt armor held up really very well. And uh, oh wow though. Uh, AI compartment is, was uh, quite threatened actually. So might have been kind of close. There's a trusty pole armor doing what pole armor does best, which is being mediocre uh, but lazy. Uh, here's a decapitated laser turret. Ugh, that'd be expensive to fix. Cram turrets, mostly intact. Some of them are more intact than others. So yeah, looks like uh, yeah, T. Stully won that one. And look at her just drive off into the sunset. So. Uh, that was almost 40 minutes of shenanigans. Uh, let's do it again, and I uh, really hope the Titan Sun wins again because um, uh, that took a long time. <laughs> Look, if there has to be three matches, oh, not that I mind uh, watching giant battleships shoot each other. It's actually one of my favorite things these days. But um, yeah, actually, yeah, two star slungs is like that's a lot of material. That's a that's a bigger material advantage than I thought, actually. Hang on, let's go back to the setup and actually compare the two um, properly. So here we got uh, we got T Stally. She's about 1.8 million materials, just shy of 50,000 blocks, and uh, then the Star Sung team is like 2.4 million materials and like 54,000 blocks. So actually, the Titan Slung is the underdog in this particular matchup. She's uh, combined everything together, she's smaller and cheaper. Huh. Let's just try and find out where everyone is. Hello? Hello? What's you? What's you? Are you the Titan Slung? Are you pointing in the correct way? Uh, I think so. I really need to learn... Okay, there, there she is. There she is. That's where everyone is. And let's go here and let's begin again. I'm curious to see if this goes any different or better. Alright. By the looks of it, we've got... Oh dear, that's bad. Oh, hello! What happened there? Looks like a critical hit almost immediately on Stalsung this one. That has a name, honest. What happened? Oh, hello. That looks important. Oh, she got a she got a chunk of her stuff taken out. That's the technical term, stuff. We. Uh oh, T. Stalley, you better. Actually, I want to see how well. The missile interceptors deal with this large missile swarm because I'm going to assume not very well because there's a lot of them. That is a lot of large missiles. Oof. I'm seeing a lot of misses, but not quite enough. Oh, whoopsie daisy! <laughs> there you go, T. Stully. That's what we want to see from you. We want to see you just decapitate a turret in one shot. That'll make a very big difference, actually. Oof. Uh oh, if there's collisions, that's gonna be bad. Oh wow, that uh, that looked painful. What was that? Lots of blocks. Oops, wrong button. The great thing about ERA. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Uh oh, my PC's not gonna like this. Slow down time a lot. Slow down time a lot. Uh oh. Uh -oh. This is gonna be bad. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought, but it was pretty bad. Oh no, it's still gonna be bad. Yeah, Titan Slung's copping the worst of that. Okay, you need to stop doing that. <laughs> you need to stop doing that right now. Oh no. No, she's lost as a bot. Oh no. Oh dear. What the hell? Uh, what? Oh, jeez. Well, great. That's just fantastic, isn't it? Oh, how did that even happen? Great. You dumbass. You absolute moron. You've thrown it away. We're gonna have to have a third match because you can't steer. Deacon's Christmas. Absolute dumbass. Complete wanker. Although it looks like, uh... It looks like the Stahl Slung just didn't actually do much better. Wow, you dumbass. Oh. Well, now two of them have decapitated turrets. That's fun. Did the ammo come off? Not the screenshot button. I'm flustered. Well, that's uh, one ammo compartment and... Oh, hello. How convenient. Oh, jeez. Well, at least my PC survived that. Let us set us back to normal speed. Yeah, somehow I don't think the Titan Slung is going to win this one. How did she lose a bloody turret? I guess sheer collision damage. Why are you aiming over there? What are you doing? What's going on? Oh dear. Oh dearie me, that was embarrassing. I need to put rams on the front of all my craft apparently. I think the Star Song actually just has a bad habit of ramming into things because she doesn't steer very well. She's a long girl. Does not do the steery steer very well. And that is one of the reasons why having a hollow bow, or just bow in general, is a bad idea because if your craft is very stupid and it runs into things, it takes a lot of damage. In fact, it falls to pieces. Why are you aiming at different things? What's wrong with you? Why aren't you aiming over there? Can you just not? Well, I guess the t Stali is a floating fortress now. How fast is she going? She's going 3.1 meters per second. Did her engines get taken out? Yes, yes they did. Great. Well, yeah, t Stali's not winning this one. You are so stupid, and I have no one to blame but myself. Why did you do that? Like, why can't you... Like, From the Depths is a lot better than it used to be in terms of craft, like, running into each other, but, like, still, it's so, like, it's so stupid. They're so thick. And yes, I know there's ways of, like, micromanaging them and just setting things up so they don't do that, but, like, you shouldn't have to! You should not have to do that! There's very few reasons why you would want your ships to run into things. I'm salty. Very salty, because I'm gonna be here for another two hours because the bloody... Shut up, phone. Shut up, phone. No one cares. Oh, dear. Great, my dad's got COVID. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> We're gonna watch you die now, T. Stolly, and you know what? You deserve it. You deserve it for your bad driving. I deserve it for, you know, not giving you good enough driving lesson. She's actually sinking. 
she's gonna sink. Well, thankfully this isn't gonna be, this isn't gonna take very long. Oh, you absolute wally. You dingle bat. Wait for it. Yep, torpedoes. It has been pointed out to me that T. Stolly is actually kind of vulnerable to torpedoes. Uh, I need to boost her to torpedo defense, which is difficult. I need to remind myself that this thing can take her out of Megalodon and stay above like 90% health, so it's not a complete failure. Also, no offensive missiles on her. Ha ha ha. That's an accomplishment for me. And her guns still work underwater, so, uh, that's cool. Well, she's a submarine now. She's living in a yellow submarine. If that cram cannon hits, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Looks like I'm not laughing, though, because it's going to miss horribly. Can you just despawn? You've embarrassed yourself tremendously. And yes, by the way, I know I don't have to set up these damn things so they're pointing straight at each other, but that seems like, you know, kind of in general the uh, thing to do. It's just nice and even. Because a good broadsider should be able to get into its broadside, like, properly. Uh, she's got so much damn health. Hello, that double layer down there doesn't seem to be helping much in terms of torpedo defense. This is what people meant when they say, uh, I guess that she sinks easily. I mean, if she's a dumbass and just rams a battleship and, you know, loses all buoyancy in, like, her four compartments, then yeah. Yeah, she sinks. Oh, you absolute dingleberry. Ah. Uh. Makes you want to build a new battleship that doesn't do this. That doesn't run into things like a dummy. Yeah, now I need to make a checklist. I'm gonna... Whoops! I punched a monitor. Whoops. Okay. Checklist. Things I need to do. Yep, and there she goes. Health below 80%. Sinking is fix target by T. Stalley to do list. Prioritization. I can spell that. Put anti uh, fix AI. No ramming, more torp defense. Oh boy. I think this is the first um, actual despawn we've seen of the Titan Slung uh, on the channel. Make no mistake, um, like, she's not invincible by any means. A bunch of people have tested stuff against her and the Titan Slung has lost. I just haven't seen it and I haven't recorded it. So, yeah. What else, what else, what else? Um, mess with crams of it. I might actually put timed fuses on those crams after all. Timed fuses. Uh, simply because, like, I've been messing around with timed fuse crams again, and it's like, wow, I forgot how handy these were. They're actually kind of neat. Oh boy. Oh giddy on Fanny. Oof. Look at the way she despawns, it's uh quite mesmerizing. Oh yeah, I should really go double check and uh see if Gmodism's finished his battleship. Because that's a fight we've all been looking forward to. Especially me. Okay, time fuses. Burp, 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 burp. And 
yet in death she does the floaty float. Uh, what else do I need to fix? Um, the problem is sticking stuff uh, on the front of her. Uh, what happens if it's shot off is the thing. I think I have an idea. Okay, it involves ACBs. ACB stuff. Okay, so that's... One round to Team Stolly, and one round to Team Stalslong. How are you doing? You got, you literally got some, got you know a battleship rammed up your ass, and yet you're still trundling along. Oh, isn't redundant propellers nice? Damn, you two actually uh, did quite well. Because uh, T. Starley was an idiot. Alright, so last round. This is going to be a very long video, I apologize. Um, we got everything. Let's start again. Maybe just to round things out, the uh, two Star songs will ram each other. Oh, this is... I should have expected this, but this has been a very long recording session. Where is everyone? Ah... All right, let's uh, let's actually look at things from this angle, because why not? Go for it. And T. Stolly has missed. And actually, yep, she missed horribly. Uh, and the Star Slungs missed only slightly less horribly. I've got to do some. I've got to figure out a counter to that. Uh, kinetic missile spam that the Star Songs had because it's actually kind of strong. Especially when there's like two swarms of it at once. I mean, Deacon's Christmas. Well, that's not going very well. <laughs> oh no, there's going to be another collision. I can already see it. And already 3% health lost on T Starly. Although she's just, uh, she's just knocked out a turret there, so that's nice. Actually, I shouldn't be blaming uh, the Titan Slung for this. I think it's the Stall Slungs, which uh, kind of just, you know, run into things. Oh no, you're gonna do it again. You're gonna do it again. You're gonna do it again. You're gonna do it again, please, for the... No, 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 no. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna no. Ugh. Should just put rams on the front of her. No, you dumbass. Oh, jeez. I can see it happen already. I can see it happen. Yep. Here we go. Oh no. They're gonna rub up against it. No, don't turn towards her. Ah, God. This is so. Im what the. Why did that- why did you survive that so much better? Okay, that's interesting. What is- What? Well, great! I didn't realize what you really wanted to do the whole time was make sweet, sweet, sugary love. And main APS is disabled, so well, great. Lovely, great, 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 great. Okay, well, that's one way to do it. Play your guitar on your MTV. That ain't working. Well, let's just follow this little cram shell and see if it goes and fulfills its... De that's a lot of torpedoes in the water. It's like non-stop counter torpedoes. Whee! That actually looks promising. What a shot! <laughs> that must have... Uh, Yep, that, uh, that did stuff. Alright, so, um, T. Stolly has apparently decided, you know what, I'm bigger and fatter than you, I'm gonna try my luck and run you over anyway. Yep, 
Is she rolling? They see you roll. Yep, she's rolling. She's gonna get pushed all the way over. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at that angling. What the hell are you planning, T. Stolly? This is ridiculous. I mean, it's one way of ensuring that, you know, stuff happens. I have honestly no idea who's gonna win this. Uh, actually, never mind. Well, there we go. Yep, no, t Style is not going to win this. She's, once again, rubbing her nose off. Against the Style song she wants to meet. Oh, this is embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. What a way to go. And you missed almost point... Well, okay, you took out the missile compartment. Well done. Well done, I guess. You idiot. You friggin' affectionate idiot. Trying to do affectionate idiot things. Oh, uh, dear. You gotta kill at least one stall slung. You realize this, you right? Yeah, she's, uh... She's, uh... She's gonna think again. Oh, this hurts my soul. Hurts my freaking soul. Oh, dear. Gotta love it when uh, From the Depths AI is so stupid, so incredibly dumb, that it does that twice in a row. Twice! Twice, I tell you! <sighs> oh, jeez. You were the chosen one, T. Stolly. You were supposed to bring balance to the feet, not be stupid. And it looks like, yep, you're short a cram or two. You're short in terms of cram power. And you're rolling. They see me rolling. Burp, burp, burp. Okay, this thing is... Okay, barrel snubbed. And let's see here. How damaged is this cram? Not damaged at all by the looks of it. It's just being silly. It's being silly and I don't like it. Oh dear. This could take a hot second. So laggy. I need to start building... I don't know. I don't even know, man. What can you do? Pour my heart and soul into this thing. And it does stupid things on camera. On camera, Isaac. You know what's a crazy idea? Okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm thinking of another... Wow, you are still driving around and maneuvering. And now you too can take advantage of the fact that... Uh... Oh, who am I kidding? This is going to take an extremely long time. I'm not sure I have the energy to... It's been over an hour. It's been over an hour. It's been over an hour. My computer doesn't overheat. I was meaning to record multiple things today. Might not have the energy for it. I need to do precise measurements of the style slung in a little bit. Oh boy. Missile spam. Missile spam and just being stupid, I guess, is what's leading us to this, to this path. <laughs> T. Starly is uh, going for a swim. Oh dear. Oh dearie, dearie me. 1001. 1002. 
girl, you better you better pull your A game now, or hope that the star songs run into each other. Yeah, I think I need to build the star song Mark III next, and just focus on making her be a nice, reliable thing. That's roughly one million materials, so basically make her cheap and fast and tough, and not rely so much on missile spam. I've got ideas for that. I've got ideas for that. <laughs> Zelda noise. So yeah, how's your day going? Um, are you being embarrassed by your battleships? Because uh, I've got two kinds of battleship on screen right now, and my goodness, they're both kind of embarrassing me. The Titan slung more so, actually, because the T-Star, she's got an excuse. It was younger me who did that. Younger me was stupid. Older me is still kind of stupid sometimes, but I would have hoped to be less stupid. But no, like 4,000 uh, hours later, I'm still having trouble uh, with craft uh, running into things that they shouldn't. Those cram shells actually look like they could do something uh, devastating. I mean, it's degraded mode, so I'm having trouble telling uh, what's... Oh no, those are good crams. Those are good crams, and they're gonna do good cram things. Um... Ouch. Yeah, I think, uh, I think t Stalley's not out of the game yet. Just a hunch. Um, you wound the beast that just makes her bite down harder. Is this little cram shell going to survive to meet its destiny? The answer is, well, it's going to miss, so there's no point answering that question. I do actually think the missiles on the Star Slung are her best feature. <laughs> I put so much effort into everything else, but no, it's the missiles that took like all of five minutes to think of that did it. If you collide again, I'm going to cry. I'm going to... What the hell happened there? What happened to you? Fram shells, probably. I think this superstructure stuffed with a plique might actually have been an accidental stroke of genius, because the Titan Slung keeps aiming for that. Oh, she's sinking. Oh, I think she's lost engine power. Oh, I think she's gonna do the sinky sink. She is going to do the sinky sink. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she's gonna sink. She's gonna be a sinky sink. What does that even mean? Yeah, torpedo defense. To torpedo defense is lacking. Torpedo defenses. Oh, I forgot this bloody penetrator frag torps. Um, and that's why heavy armor belts can sometimes be a good idea. Yeah, I forgot it was bloody like penetrator frag torps on the stall slungs. Those things really, really hurt. Yeah, and there's lots of lots of uh, kinetic missiles running in, just ruining stuff. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Oh dearie me. Oh, say, can you see? My battleship sucks. She lost half her face when she went for a hug. I don't... I think I just... I wasn't even trying to do the uh, United States National Anthem, and I think I butchered it anyway. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. T. Stolly. You're the underdog. But they're overdog at the same time, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Which means that, like I said before, I should be ashamed of myself. But ashamed of you too, because I made you. I created you. I can destroy you. I can destroy you with words. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man, this was supposed to be epic, but it's like just watching... I don't know, 
two high school kids like beat up a slightly bigger high school kid. Which is very sad, by the way. People can get bullied no matter what size they are, and the Titan Slung is getting bullied right now. She's getting schmullied. Schmullied, I say. Actually, you know where I should hide more counter torpedo things? Everywhere. Everywhere. Oh dear. Oh my goodness, it's too much. It's too much. I'm gonna need a nap and a sandwich after this recording session. Because of how exhausting it is to see your biggest, baddest battleship being stupid. And the- oh, hello, you're sinking quite a lot, aren't you? Uh, I think all main guns on the, uh, T-Stully are disabled. Yeah, that one looks disabled. That one isn't. Hello. 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 Where are you going? Are you gonna do something useful? Nope, you're not. I really hate that. That thing is two meters across and weighs, well, you know, it's the size of a bus! Shouldn't bounce off the surface of the water, that's just dumb. That's dumb and I don't like it. Or just whiffs entirely, you know. Damn. Camouflage. Oh boy. I still can't get over how tiny the Star Slung Mark 1 was in comparison to Mark 2 and now the Titan Slung. Oh boy. Oh, I wonder where that's going. Right there. Ouch. That looked like it hurt. Oh boy, something big exploded just on T-Stolly though. Those kinetic missiles, I swear. Next uh, battleship I build, I won't be happy unless it can like fight off a swarm of Star Slung missiles like that because those things actually, they're kind of hard to counter. It's like, not they're not cheap, but like they're cheaper than remote guided missiles or something like, like that. But I do like the idea of having a battleship that uh, doesn't use any offensive missiles at all. If only because, like, uh, it's a bit too easy to do that. And here I am, like, playing this incredibly complicated game and saying, like, Oh, it's not hard enough. Oh, lordy. How are you still afloat? Are you being a float boat? Oh dear. Oh dear, dear me. Jeez, those kinetic missiles. I forgot all about them. They're not smart. Not really. It's just... The radar seeker, signal processor, a bunch of, like, kinetic warheads. Now the EMP comes in. Oh dearie me. I should probably, you know what, I should build a battleship that's just armed entirely with missiles. And just, I don't know, very mo just make a real modern style uh, battleship and just put giant missiles on it. I think I know what I'd stick on it too. It is fun watching, like, two of your ships, um, well, I guess in this case, one ship and, like, two of another kind of ship uh, battle out, and then you just get ideas for what to do differently next time. Because one thing with the Titan Slung is, like, I don't know. She's got too much of some stuff and too little of another. She really needs, I think, ironically, better defenses, because she sucks, uh, she apparently sucks against cram cannons, and she sucks against missiles, which is... Annoying because you know she's got Sea Wiz for exactly that reason, and definitely the lasers need improvement. Definitely the lasers need improvement. Oh dear. Well, bear in mind, border wise, uh, one on one, 
it would be absolutely no contest. T Stolly would destroy a Stall Stun. But she'd be bigger and more expensive. You two are about to make sweet sugary love. Oh no. This is just this is just embarrassing for everyone. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. And you know what's hilarious? I put rams on this thing the other day so it doesn't do this. And you know, oh no. What you are literally gonna Oh no. Is this too raunchy for YouTube? Uh I looked at oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, bro. No. <laughs> Damn it. It was bad enough that one of my ships did this. Now both of them are doing it. Oh, you absolute cockwomble. Oh, no. Well, great. Alrighty, and now, now T. Stolly can just take her sweet time and watch you two destroy each other. Or rather, watch one of you destroy the other. Oh, dear. Um... Also firing torpedoes into each other, apparently. Oh dear. Someone is... Oh dear. Oh dear. These... Oh no. The shenanigans just don't stop. I hope this video gets a million views, just like... Battleships behaving badly. There you go, there's the title. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is the wor th this is this is thumbnail material. Excuse me, I'm just gonna take a bunch of screenshots. Although that might spoil the whole thing. Oh lordy, who is going to sink first? I wonder. Oh no, you two are gonna rub up against each other. Oh my god, if the Titan Slung wins this simply because these two just decided to... to essentially shag until they die... Oh my god, that is exactly what's gonna happen. They're gonna disintegrate against each other. Oh my god. Well, I guess taking advantage of your enemy's stupidity is a totally valid tactic. Although, even though the T-Stolly didn't really do anything... Well, crap. Crappity, crappity, crappity. Well, this is very embarrassing for me as a shipbuilder. Because my ships are making love uh, on the battlefield where everyone can see it. And I really need to figure out some way of them not doing that. I think the Star Slungs have now done more damage to each other than the uh, T Stelly has done to them. Yep, they are going rub rub rub. I'm so glad there was an optimization update uh, not long ago uh, to stop them uh, to stop the game actually crashing when this kind of thing happens. Oh my goodness, the lag though. The lag is unreal. The lag is Unreal Engine. Oh no, you're gonna get stuck like this, aren't you? You are going to get stuck like this. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is now the world's longest video. Well. Uh, you know what I might do? I think I'm going to speed up time slightly until these two either separate or until someone despawns. So, yeah. I'm just going to do that. I'll see you. Uh, or rather, you'll hear from me in a little while. Okay, hello people, it's me again. I have decided to call this thing a draw, uh, because these two idiots are appear to be very firmly stuck together and they're not moving away from each other, and the game is lagging to an absolutely unbearable degree, so I'm just gonna call it there. Uh, I guess you could say that um, the Star Slung team won this, because their team's at 80% health, and Team Titan Slung is at 69% uh, health, but both of them were really stupid, so I'm declaring this a draw in the sense that everyone loses. Nobody wins this one. So, 
Uh, Titan Slung, you are stupid because you collided with things. And Star Slung, you are stupid because you collided with things. And I'm the stupidest one for making not one, but two ships uh, that are stupid and collide with things. So, I hope you've enjoyed this incredibly long video. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.